Birmingham is now known as a new foodie city, and moms just don't have time to cook. So if you're looking for some local, down-home Southern cuisine, then pull up a chair for Dining Out with Comedian Joy. That's right, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes us to some of the best places to eat in Birmingham and its surrounding cities. So whether you're on 2059 East or West, or 65 North or South, or 459 or somewhere in between, Dining Out with Comedian Joy is about to tempt your tummy and make those taste buds water. So if you like your meat three in a brick and mortar or in a gas station, Dining Out with Comedian Joy takes you to some of the best spots in town. Well, this week on Dining Out with Comedian Joy, we're going to go on a search for some of the best hamburgers in the state of Alabama. Now, we all know that Chilton County is very popular for their big peaches, but in Clanton, there's one spot that's popular for their big burgers. If you love a giant-sized hamburger or hamburger steak, there's only one place to come to in Clanton, Alabama, and that's Big Daddy Burgers. At Big Daddy's, they make everything big. Jackie Easterling and her crew have been serving up some delicious Big Daddy size eats for the last two years at Big Daddy Burgers. Now besides grilling these half pound hamburgers, one of their specialties that they're known for in Clanton, Alabama is the half hot hamburger. Let's do the one half of a bun. Coming out of the sauce with the cheese. Onion, grilled onions, grilled mushroom. And then we're gonna top it off with brown gravy. You still added brown gravy to this? Yes. We're adding the brown gravy to the top. is a hot hamburger. Actually, this is just a half. Now, if we were to get a whole, you would have two of these. That would be a whole hot hamburger. This is just a half a hot hamburger. Who eats two of these? We have a lot of people that do two of these. A lot of it. We actually do this as a special on Fridays. Fridays are our hot hamburger special day. And um, we do a lot of them. A lot. You do know that's a lot of food, don't you? I do know that's a lot of food. We want them to leave out of here completely satisfied with the belly full. And of course, I got excited when I saw all that brown gravy being drizzled over that hamburger patty. Because you know Comedian Joy, she loves to sop. All right, Joy. You have to sit down for this one. Yeah, look at this big old burger. Is this what the half and half? That's the half a hot hamburger. A half a hot hamburger. All this gravy and these mushrooms. Duh, I cannot stand up and eat that. I was drooling over back in the kitchen. Jeez. These are like all of my favorite things because people know on Down Up Comedian Enjoy, I love the sauce. Mmm. It's good stuff. Mmm, this ain't good stuff. This is great stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need another piece of my bread so I can get my sauce on. She know how I like it. A lot of gravy, mushrooms, and a big piece of meat over here. Clayton is the only place you can come and get a hot hamburger. My cousin came and visited me from Ellick City, and when we were talking about a hot hamburger, she said, aren't all hot ham hamburgers hot? <laughs> but she ate it and loved it. Loved it. It's delicious. This is a half hot hamburger with gravy and cheese and gravy and cheese on my fries. They're really good. Four sides. Homemade onion rings. Now four of these freshly battered and cooked to order onion rings come with one serving. Look how big these things are. These are not your baby onion rings. Oh, give me some big daddy onion rings. That's right. Mmm. Girl, you put your foot in these. That's right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And look how the battle stays on. That's what I like the most. I hate when I eat onion rings and my battle falls off. Mmm. Good, good. And speaking of sides, check out how they make their own hand-cut fries. These are all natural potatoes cut fresh every morning. 
I'll take them and put them in here. Flip. After the break, we're going to introduce you to the Big Daddy Burger. So stay tuned for more Dining Out with Comedian Joy. For over 30 years, George Saris and the Fish Market have been serving the finest, freshest seafood in the South. Always cook to order, George is bringing you fresh family favorites seven days a week. Now we open on Sunday. Come get the best camping in Birmingham and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to taste it first myself. Oh my God, delicious. The Fish Market on Birmingham South Site is open on Sunday from 1045 to 4 p.m. Come join us at the Fish Market. Thank you for coming out to the bakery. Your, your experience uh, was a delight. Yeah, I like the way you just took every detail of what we've done in our bakery and and our meals to go and show the public exactly what we do in, 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 in extensive detail. Thank you so much for having us here at the Talk of Alabama. It was a wonderful experience. Thank you for helping us promote our business at Cake Guard and Bertoloni's Meals to Go. Um, my husband, Michael, he really appreciates cooking up some good food, especially your lasagna, Bianca. We'd love to come back and um, show some more stuff that we do. I love dining out with Joy because she is so energetic and funny that brought people out to my bakery and it just it's great for publicity for our business. I would highly recommend it. Yes. Before the break we took you to Big Daddy Burgers in Clanton, Alabama and showed you their half a hot hamburger, their homemade onion rings and their hand cut fries. So now I gotta introduce you to the Big Daddy Hamburger. Start with our 10 pound roll of ground beef. We prefer a finely ground beef. It's, this is an 8119, so it doesn't have a whole lot of fat. And we're going to just kind of work it up a little. This is 10 pounds, so we should get about 20 burgers out of this roll. So that makes them about a half a pound each. So that's how we're gonna start. It's about a half a pound. I don't want a, a pre-made patty that's coming fr in frozen. It, I mean, you can really taste the difference, and I think that's just where it starts. All right, so this is gonna go in a special sauce. Can't tell you what's in our special sauce. I can tell you that there's some garlic, some beef broth, and a little bit of soy. I'm just gonna let it sit for just a minute. Usually we put cheese on a hamburger. So that's ready for a bun. That's your five inch bun for your big daddy, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with our first patty and cheese. And our bacon. Then we're going to go with our other patty and cheese. And some bacon. Let's go with some um, romaine lettuce, tomato. We're going to add a couple of pickle. And then we're going to do our ketchup mayo mustard. A little bit of onion. Top up on it. And that, my friend, is a Big Daddy Burger. And that is one big burger. Man, this is... Ooh, look at this, y'all. It is so juicy. Look at the juices through this thing. I know this is gonna ruin my diet jacket, but guess what, I'm gonna have to go for it. 
Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so mouth watering. Huh? So juicy. You know me get this from all your customers, don't you? Man, is it the bacon? Is it the toast? The bread? Is it this is the flavor of the burger? It's so juicy. Big mom. <laughs> thing of Big Daddy's is the um, is the bacon cheeseburger. Uh, it's a very very tasty meal, uh, but above that, I think it's the service. It really is the employees here and the environment that keeps me coming back. Very tender, and tasty. Customers stand in line not only for the hamburgers but also for the Thursday special. We take our hot dogs and we wrap them in bacon. We wrap it up and then we take toothpicks and stick it in both ends so the bacon stays on the hot dog when we fry it. And this is our bacon wrapped hot dog. So we put it in the fryer. How long does this cook? Five minutes. This way all your bacon is crispy. This is our bacon wrapped hot dog we're gonna make for you. Pull all our skewers out, place it on your bun, okay? Then we're going to move over here and we're going to put some ketchup mustard. It's ketchup. This is mayo. And we're going to put some really good cheddar cheese. A little bit of onion. It won't hurt anybody. Just close it up like a sandwich and just open it really wide and take a big bite. <laughs> it's all of that. Yes. So for now, when I get my hot dogs, let me throw some bacon on this, man. This is delicious. Big Daddy Burgers is located three miles in Clinton off exit 212. The Joe Lockett Show is the hottest radio talk show on Saturday evening with Melva Tate, Comedian Joy, Uncle Boz, Andre J. Thomas, and the king of infotainment, Joe Lockett. America, you don't want to miss this. Lock it in, 4 to 7, Saturday evenings, WYDE 101.1. Joe, I just appreciate your show. I appreciate you bringing up these hard to discuss issues, but they do need to be discussed. Well, thank you so and much, people, Caroline. And people do need to remember that black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Lock it in, 4 to 7, Saturday evenings, WYDE 101.1. Well, everyone likes to eat the food that's named after celebrities, and here at Jack Brown Beer and Burger Joint in the Lakeview community, it's no different. But some of the food that is in between the burgers that they serve may just surprise you. Jack Brown Beer and Burger Joint is where most people flock to to get a one-of-a-kind hamburger. Now, Birmingham is home to its second location outside of Virginia. Now, its top selling burger is? Uh, the Great Ready, absolutely. It's the one with the macaroni and cheese and barbecue potato chips. That's right. He said macaroni and cheese and potato chips. To make these delicious burgers, Jack Brown uses American Wagyu beef. They season it up with a little kosher salt and some peppercorn. Butter up those buns. Then they pile on a big scoop of homemade macaroni and cheese. Top that off with another layer of cheese before letting it sit on the grill for just a few more seconds. I said we normally dump it for about 10 to 15 seconds. <laughs> Once that cheese is fully melted, here comes the potato chips. And there you have the Greg Brady Burger from Jack Brown Beer Burger Joint. So now we're going to try the great gravy. There's the one with the macaroni and cheese and the barbecue potato chips. Potato chips on a burger? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Man, I have never in my life had potato chips on a burger. I had potato chips with the burger. Not with them. Okay, you know what? I'm about to start doing this. <laughs> this is my hamburger helper in the sandwich. Absolutely. Remember you were dead? Yeah. You have the helper but no hamburger? Yeah. Well, you come to Jack Brown's get the hamburger and the helper on this burger right here. Yeah, this is pretty good. 
Yeah. After macaroni and cheese, hell you fuck that's a whole meal. Absolutely. Man, this is great. We have the uh, Jack Brown sauce in it, which is a mayonnaise base. We make everything here in the house. I like that. Yeah. 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 What Jack at? Oh, I like Jack. Jack. He's all right with me. Jack, you're right. Yeah, man, this is good. Man, I can need some more chips. I can get my chips now. Absolutely. So what's your favorite burger? The Greg Brady with the macaroni and cheese. So have you tried any of the other burgers? No. <laughs> this is the one I crave and this is the one I keep coming back for. Stay tuned after the break. I'm going to show you some other toppings that Jack Brown put on some of their burgers. You won't believe it. And guess what? The king still lives. You can only get it right here at Jack Brown's Beer and Burger Joint. Do you need some gut busting laughter that you, your kids, and your pastor can listen to and enjoy? Well, get Comedian Joy, the Queen of Queens, newest DVD live at the Stardome. But y'all want to. But y'all, one of my favorite all-time televangelists is Joe Osteen. Anybody like Brother Joe? Y'all miss some Joe Osteen. I'm telling you, every time I listen to Joe, I feel like I can speed and hoover and won't even get a T. And when you eat out, don't you want If you are married, if you're single, even if you're looking for love, Comedian Joy has some tips for you. If you go to church, she's talking about it. All of us know Jesus was the only person who walked the earth and didn't sin. But I figured it out. Say, why, Joy? Because he wasn't married and didn't have kids. <laughs> Don't you know them two combinations make you want to see him? Buy your copy of Live for the Stardom now at www.joythequeenofclean.com. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's precocious. Marriage would be great if they didn't have stuff in your vows like to death do your part, wouldn't it? Don't you want your vows to be like till you get on my last nerves? Cause it's predocious. That's www.joythequeenofclean.com. Get it because it's on sale now. That's predocious. Before the break, we showed you the Greg Brady Burger at Jack Brown Beer and Burger Joint which has macaroni and cheese and barbecue chips on it. Now Jack Brown also serves some other specialty burgers like this Jack on Piggyback. Now this is a burger that is topped with a hot dog, pickled jalapeno peppers, and cheddar cheese. Now if that's not enough for you, why don't you try the shiftlet? Now this has applewood bacon and an egg on it. It's almost like breakfast where you can get the best of both worlds. Now, if your palate still wants a taste of the wild side, how about this Danny LaRusso? It has cream cheese and jalapeno jelly on it. This way, you can get your little salty and a little sweet. Now, I know that we have some Elvis fans that's actually watching this show, and guess what? The King still lives because they even make a burger named after the King. Right now, I'm gonna show you the Elvis burger. Yes. Wait a minute, I thought he had peanut butter and but now. <laughs> well, I, I think the peanut butter is what makes it the Elvis. It also has bacon on it, too. So wait, are you telling me we're gonna put banana on the burger? No, no, just peanut butter and bacon. Now the Elvis burger is cooked just like the other burgers with a little kosher salt and some peppercorn. Now once the meat is almost ready, it is topped with a big scoop of peanut butter. That's right, peanut butter on a burger. Now, it also has some bacon and a slice of American cheese. Now, after a few more minutes on the grill, it is then taken off and topped with some mayo and put on a potato bun and ready to taste. This is the elf. This is the elf. This is one got peanut butter in it. Yeah. Got peanut so, butter, mayonnaise, uh, bacon, applewood smoked bacon. It's bacon. It's peanut butter on this burger. I can't believe it. Peanut butter. I know I saw him when he made it. Wow. I can't believe I made this out. I haven't even had a drink. And I'm eating peanut butter on my burger. This is actually pretty good. We can take some beer. We got about 120 yeah, beers. Yeah. 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 Y
Uh, we have some local breweries. We have some beers from all around the United States. Some Belgian beers, um, English beers. Yeah, you name it, we got it. So people are looking for a great burger and a great beer. There's only one place to go in Lakeview. Jack Browns is the only place you can go. That's it. You already heard it from all of y'all. Hey, this is good. Look, I don't know nothing about the beers, but I do know about this burger right here with the peanut butter on it and some bacon. I can't do bacon on it. Now there's only one bacon. Well, they don't want it. No, nothing. <laughs> Now something else that's pretty addictive at Jack Brown's is this shaker sauce that's in the red bottle. It is mixed with the Jack Brown sauce, which is a mayo type sauce, and it's great for dipping those hand cut fries in. We got some uh, homemade fries, and uh, Man, look at these, are these hand cut? Yes ma'am. Look at these, these are like cool the way they all cook. Yeah, so we mix a little bit of the Jack Brown's with the shaker sauce, so you want to spice it a little bit, try it. So you say this is a little spicy? I think it's gonna be a little spicy. Now listen, if my wig turn around, you know it's gonna be spicy. <laughs> gotta wash our hands, gonna hit it now. <laughs> oh, this stuff is a little hot right here. It's tingling on my palm, but that has such a good flame on it. Absolutely. It makes me want some more of this. Yeah. Can I have a little bit more? Oh, yeah. My hand moved yet, yeah, y'all, but it is good. I, I feel the cook on it. This stuff is addictive. What did you put in your crack? Uh, yeah, well, we can, you can call the crack sauce if you want. It is just so good. Literally, it's, it got a great flavor to it. It's spicy, but like, I can't stop eating this stuff. <laughs> oh my God. Hold on to my hand. I gotta get one more bite right here, y'all. Oh, this is good. I like that. Good, good. Chocolate sauce. Chocolate sauce, and then we mix it up with the Jack Brown sauce, which is like the crack sauce, if you want yeah. to call it that. Yeah, this stuff is addictive. Okay, one more for the road. <laughs> Listen, I know when this show go up, I'm still going to be eating this chocolate sauce, this stuff is good. She's going to be here by here eating and drinking beer with us. You know it. Yeah. Now another popular treat at Jack Brown is their fried Oreos. That is our Oreo battle. What I do, I sit in here, push it down, flip it around. Not push it all the way to the bottom, just flip it two or three times. Pop all the way to the grease. What we do is sit it and hold it right here so it won't stick to the bottom. Like five seconds. Drain a little bit of oil. After that, right there here. Right in these boxes. Cover it up, cause people like that powder sugar. Now our Oreo. Here's your Oreo. Alright, now that's a hot fried Oreo with some powder sugar on here. This thing is hot. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. I guess you say it just came out the grease, huh? What you think? Let me see, where I got the body? Do it for the the grease. Do I need to blow it a little bit? <laughs> you like it? I need a check. <laughs> well, I'm about to fall, y'all. <laughs> hey, this is, okay. Now I had another favorite crowd over here. Okay, but you know what? I hope they ain't watching the day. Jack Brown, y'all got this Oreo right here. <laughs> Hey, you put some love in here, you put some salt in, you put some mm, mm in this with it. <laughs> Thank you. I ain't even see all that in the bottle. Well, you know how we do it here at Jack Brown. <laughs> Man. You like to make it sexy. Oh, I feel real sexy in my back. This fried Oreo here, it is so soft. And it's so, it's, it's warm, of course, it's an Oreo, but the batter on it, it is awesome. Tastes like a donut. Yeah. Man, you can't go wrong with donuts and Oreo. Nah, you can't. Man, I like this look. I have had the best sauce. I've had the best burgers. And now, top it off with this hot Oreo. If I were a beer drinker, this would be heaven. So y'all gotta come down here to Jack Brown Beer and Burger Joint over here in Lakeview. Man, I know where all the good spots are. So y'all gotta keep it locked in to dining out with comedian Joy, my new friend Willie over here. Hey, he'll hook you up right here. Hook you up. Mm, 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 mm. For over 30 years, George Saris and the Fish Market have been serving the finest, freshest seafood in the South. Always cook to order, George is bringing you fresh family favorites seven days a week. Now we open on Sunday. Come get the best campy in Birmingham, and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to taste it first myself. Oh my God, delicious. The Fish Market on Birmingham South Site is open on Sunday from 1045 to 4 p.m. Come join us at the Fish Market.
Classy Boutique, for all your high fashion jewelry needs. Classy Boutique sells only the best in high fashion women and men's jewelry, accessories, and women's clothes. Classy Boutique, helping you find the style you want at a price you'll love. Located in Forestdale Square off Highway 78. Call them at 205-335-5176. That's 335 335- 5176 or visit them online at theclassyboutique.com Well with the weather getting warmer everybody's going to want to hang outside and you're going to need something to cool you off so how about some fried ice cream? That's right I'm talking about some fried ice cream it's a Mexican dessert that you can only get for some of my friends at So Let's Take It. Most people enjoy fajitas and quesadillas when they eat Mexican food. But what about the dessert? Now one of the specialties at So Azteca is the fried ice cream. So how do you get this like this? This one, this one, uh, we make the balls, we put it on a pan, we roll it with the, with the uh, complex, and then we're gonna fry it. You see how it's gonna be fried. It looks like a biscuit. That's a fry ice cream. You sure that's not a biscuit? Yeah, I'm sure. Right You're gonna try after that, after we finish. Then we're gonna put some uh, decoration with the whipped cream. Cover it with chocolate. And the last, we're gonna put it on top of all cherry. And it's ready to eat for you. Joy, here's your fried ice cream. Thank you. Oh no man, you saw this fried ice cream being made. It looks amazing. I can't believe they actually use cornflakes and roll it in ice cream. Let me tell you, this is one of my other favorite things that I love to get when I come here to Soul Let's Take Us. They have two locations. That's Stadia and Alabaster. Now, I kind of like the one in Alabaster because it's closer to my bed, but I love the guys that's here in the stadium. You have got to come here to Soul Life Texas and get you some of this fried ice cream. This is amazing. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this week's edition of Dining Out with Comedian Joy. And as always, if you have any questions or want to know more information about the restaurant shown today, all you need to do is go to my blog. That's DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. DiningOutWithComedianJoy.com. Now, if you have a restaurant and you would like to be featured, simply give me a call. That number is 205-482-6999. 205-482-6999. You know that I always bring you the best places to eat here in the state of Alabama. And of course, as I say in each and every show, the places that I take it, the food is so good, it make you want to lay down. Love the chocolate, love all the desserts here at Burger Pie. You gotta check them out. They're right here on my.